In this question, a scientist reacts 599 grams of iodine, I2, with unlimited rubidium, Rb, and measures that 641 grams of rubidium iodide, RBI, is made. In this question, we're still trying to find the percent yield, so it's exactly the same as our previous skill. The only difference is that we're not told the theoretical yield. We have to calculate the theoretical yield ourselves based on the equation that's provided. So let's start by balancing that equation. So I'm going to go ahead and write out my table that I use to help me balance it. I've got my elements. I've got my reactants and my products. Okay, so initially for rubidium, I have one in my reactants. For iodine, I have two because I have I2. In my products, I have one rubidium and one iodine. Okay, so I can see my rubidium appears to be balanced to start with, but my iodine isn't. I need more of it in the products. So I'm going to put a two on the product side for the compound that contains iodine. And I'm going to redo my calculation to see if that fixed my problem. So I now still have one rubidium in the reactants and two iodine in the reactants. I now have two sets of rubidium iodide in the products. So I have two of each in the products. So now my iodine appears balanced, but my rubidium isn't. I need more rubidium in the reactants. So I'm going to put a two there. And I think that will have fixed it, but let's go ahead and do our calculation anyway, just to check. So I now have two sets of rubidium in the reactants. I've got two iodines because I've got I2. And then my products, I've got two sets of RBI. So I've got two RB and two I. Wonderful. So our rubidium is balanced, our iodine is balanced. That means our equation is balanced. So we can go ahead and fill in our answers now that we're sure of them. We had two rubidium, one iodine gives two rubidium iodide. So there's our chemical equation. Our next step is to identify the actual yield of rubidium iodide and to calculate the theoretical yield of rubidium iodide. Remember, the actual yield is what was actually made or measured in the experiment. Here, we're told the scientist measures 641 grams of rubidium iodide. So that's our actual yield. Now, for our theoretical yield, we aren't told that in the question. We have to calculate our theoretical yield. So based on the amount provided of our reactants. So we know that we have 599 grams of iodine and unlimited rubidium. That tells us that iodine is our limiting factor. So let's go ahead and use the amount of iodine to figure out how much rubidium iodide we should be able to create. So we've got 599 grams of iodine. We want to convert that into grams of rubidium iodide. So let's go ahead and make a plan. We've got 599 grams of iodine. We want to end up with grams of rubidium iodide. So we need to get grams of rubidium iodide. To get there, first we're going to have to convert the grams into moles because we can't do any conversions between grams and grams. We've got to convert between moles and moles. So first I need to go into moles of I2. Then I'm going to have to convert my moles of I2 into moles of rubidium iodide using the conversion factor from the equation. And finally, I can then convert those moles of rubidium iodide into grams of rubidium iodide. So we've got three steps in our calculation here. So I'm going to draw a dimensional analysis table with three columns. OK, so my first step is going from grams of I2 to moles of I2. To do that, I'm going to need to know my molar mass of I2. So let's go to our periodic table. Here's iodine. Let's also find rubidium while we're here. So iodine has a relative atomic mass of 126.90. Rubidium has a relative atomic mass of 85.47. So iodine has a relative atomic mass of 126.90 grams per mole. Rubidium has a relative atomic mass of 85.47 grams per mole. 
So to find my molar mass of I2, I'm going to need two sets of I, which is 2 of 126.90, which gives 253.80 grams per mole. And that tells me that 253.80 grams of I2 is equal to 1 mole of I2. So in my dimensional analysis, that's going to be the conversion factor that I use. So I'm putting grams of I2 on the bottom because I want to get rid of that. I'm putting moles of I2 on the top. And then my conversion factor is one mole of I2 is equal to 253.80 grams of I2. Our next step is using our balanced chemical equation to figure out the conversion between moles of I2 and moles of RBI. So in our equation, we've got one mole of I2 for two moles of RBI. So one mole I2 gives two mole of RBI. So that's going to be my conversion factor to use here. So I'm putting moles of I2 on the bottom because that's what I want to get rid of. And I'm putting moles of RBI on the top because that's what I'm trying to find. One mole of I2 is equal to two moles of RBI. Okay, so I've got my moles of RBI. Final step is to go into grams of RBI. So I'm going to need to know my molar mass of RBI. So I've got one rubidium plus one iodine, which is... 1 times 126.90 plus 1 times 85.47, which gives me a molar mass of 212.37 grams per mole. And that tells me that 212.37 grams of RBI is equal to 1 mole of RBI. So that's now going to be my conversion factor for the final step in my dimensional analysis. So I'm putting moles of RBI on the bottom because I want to get rid of that. I'm putting grams of RBI on the top because that's what I want to find. And I know that one mole of RBI is equal to 212.37 grams of RBI. So now I can go ahead and do this calculation. I'm going to cancel out my grams of iodine on the top and the bottom, cancel my moles of iodine on the top and bottom, and cancel my moles of rubidium iodide on the top and bottom. I'm just left with grams of rubidium iodide, which is what I want, since that's what I'm trying to find. So I've got 599 multiplied by 1, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 212.37 grams of rubidium iodide, divided by 253 point eight zero times one times one which gets me one thousand and two grams of rubidium iodide so our final step is to find the percent yield of rubidium iodide so I'm going to the reference sheet to find the equation for percent yield. Here's our equation for percent yield. Percent yield is the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield times 100. So we've got percent yield is the actual yield, yield actual, divided by the theoretical yield, yield theoretical times 100 percent. So our actual yield was 641 grams. Our theoretical yield was 1002 grams times 100 percent. That gets us 63.9 percent. Okay, so these questions, again, have lots of steps to them. Our first step is balancing our chemical equation. 
Then we need to identify the actual yield from the question. That's the amount measured. Finally, we then need to find our theoretical yield of rubidium iodide. To do that, we're gonna have to do the stoichiometry to figure out, given the number of grams of our reactant, how many grams of our product would we expect? So we're gonna need to convert from grams to moles for our reactant, then convert from moles of our reactant to moles of our product, and finally convert from moles of our product to grams of our product to get the theoretical yield. Lastly, we're gonna put that all into our percent yield equation to figure out the percent yield of our product.